Welcome to Advanced Static Stretching 2 with Taurus Trainer. Why do we stretch? It's important to increase and maintain flexibility and muscle suppleness. I'd recommend you do at least 15 minutes a day to reduce muscle tension and increase and improve your sleep. It helps remove muscle waste products from your body, helps reduce stiffness, enable you the freedom you need to move and ultimately perform better. How do we stress? Using the actions and variations I've given you in this program, um, make sure you stick to the guides on stretching, uh, not to pain, but make sure you are breathing and really keeping a nice, mild, firm grip on your stretches there so you're getting the full benefits and what is going to help you perform better. Start with the McKenzie back extension stretch, facing down, bring your elbows up in front of your body and just keep your feet on the ground, stretch there and hold that for 45 seconds. Still on the ground, go into a four point position, hands and on your knees, make um, a nice straight position with your spine first and then slowly roll your hips forward, actually what they call an anterior pelvic tilt and then slowly go into a posterior pelvic tilt so you're arching through your back. Do that over a 45 second time frame in that same space and time I just did there. Staying on the ground again, do a prone lower trunk flexor static stretch. Keeping your hips on the ground and your feet, push up through your arms and even lock your arms out there to hold it. Of course, don't do it to a pain. Standing lower trunk lateral flexor stretch. Standing up, um, having a split stance and then with one foot forward and one foot back, rotate across your body so you're really getting a good stretch off your outside hip. The next one, you're in a standing position. You are trying to actually really bring your heel up towards your groin and really trying to push the knee outwards there, getting a good stretch in your hip area. This is fantastic for people who sit a lot, of course, because they're getting very tight. A lying iliotibial band stretch, you're really trying to Stretch that band that starts from the top of your hip all the way down to your knee. Bring your knee up and across your body. And what you can do is grab onto that knee as well and bring it down so you've got a good secure grip. Next exercise is the hip and back extensor static stretch. Lying down on your back, bring your knee up towards your chest. Any one. And you can hold behind the back of the knee. If you feel comfortable, you can also grab the front of the knee to enhance that. And use your biceps to pull in towards your chest. The next one is the adductor stretch or the groin muscle stretch. Sitting up and with your hands grabbing onto your ankles, you can use your elbows to push your knees outwards and get a good stretch through the groin there. Keep your chest up and breathe. Next exercise is standing lunge adductor static stretch when you're standing up. You're going to lean to one side, of course. If your knees are a bit sore, don't go down too low. But if you feel comfortable, try and get into that position. Of course, 45 seconds for both sides. Next one's a kneeling knee extensor stretch. You're really trying to push the knee in towards the ground here and stretch out the um, stretch out the quadriceps muscles and also the top of the hip. Lean right back and try and get that really tight muscle up on top of your hip. Standing toe extensor with one foot behind your body. Push your toe in towards the ground. Make sure you're not squashing your toe. You can even do this with your shoes off and push in towards the ground, stretching out your perineals, uh, what you call your shin muscles. The last one is the reverse to that. That's that flexor stretch where you bring your toes up towards your chest, towards your body, I should say, and then really just keeping that for 45 seconds. That's advanced static stretching two. If you've enjoyed this presentation, get in touch with me on my social media channels, even share it with your friends and make sure you check out taurustrainer.com which has got some fantastic tips, testimonials and resources to give you the edge on your training. Practical training, serious results, no bull.